Did you know that it's a good thing to put a salmon next to a fox? At least it is in this game. This is the review for the board game Cascadia, the good and bad about it. By the end of this review, you will know if this game is for you. We have six burning questions that we will answer in this video, but before we do that, Yanis, what is this game all about? In Cascadia, we're creating our own habitats and placing animals on them. Each animal has specific way it scores points in your habitat, and whoever does the most efficient work with that wins. On your turn, you just take one habitat tile and one animal token, and then add it to your habitat. That's all you do. At the end of the game, you will compare the scores with the animals, how well have you placed them in your habitat. Also, your habitat sizes give you points as well. If I have nine tiles with forests, I get nine points. The fun part is that each game you will have, for example, different fox, a different way you will score points for foxes. That gives a little spice to each game. Simple rules, animals, and variety of scoring them makes a game worth talking about. And we're gonna talk a lot more about this game in this video, so let's jump to the first question. And the first question is... Who would you buy it for? Four game junkies. Oh, I have gamer families. Is that synonymous? This is a quick filler game, to be honest, with quite a bit of depth. So if you're a board game junkie and just need a quick hit, <laughs> then uh, this might be a game for you. You can get it out of your shelf at any time, play almost with anyone, because the rules are super simple. It uh, is a gamer's game, although everyone can play it. Yeah. So I think it fits this category. On top of that, I will add that you can play a simpler version where you don't have five different animals that you have to differently score. Simpler way of scoring them, like the family version. It has a solo game. Anybody in the family can play it, from younger kids to like the gamers, uh, if they really want to, you know, crunch those numbers. Where to put the style that it scores the maximum amount of points. What is the best thing about this game? Three, two, one, boom. Rules equals, equals. four sentences. You basically can explain all the rules in four sentences, Go ahead. which is one. You pick one group of tile and an animal and add it to your habitat. Second sentence, score points with your terrains as well as from these animals. Third is whenever you place an animal on a specific tile that has an arrow, you take this token, which helps you either exchange animals or that helps you break the rule that you have to pick specifically this token and this tile. And the fourth one is also if you have three or four animals, you can easily put them back into the bag and pull new ones. And that's it, four sentences. And everything else is either obvious or really you can uh, do it while playing the game. I'll give you 8 out of 10 uh, explanation. 10 out of 10, thank you. 8 out of 10, moving on. But yes, the rules are super simple. The depth comes just from your decisions. And the playing also feels easy, just like the rules. Just, I'll take these two and add them. So it's just a very relaxing nature-based game. Nature-based? Do you think this bear would subscribe to our channel? Obviously, I mean, everyone should. So does this sum as well? Absolutely. Excellent. Subscribe, guys. What is the worst thing about this game? Three, two, one. Hello. Like I mentioned previously, this is a relaxing, easy going game. Easy rules, easy gameplay. But you might be playing with someone who will be doing this all the time. Okay, so you have more forests. Nice, if I take a forest, then I could, you know, equal you in the forests, but then I cannot place a bird. But I really want a bird so I can take those points. But if I take the bird, there's nowhere where to play. You get it. And every turn they'll be doing this, which is fine. I mean, if two people like that are playing, perfectly fine. They'll just be planning this five turns ahead and just checking what you have all the time. So for me, the worst thing for this was I played at some points with the people who shouldn't play this game with me or I shouldn't play this game with them. I read the cards and we had like a discussion for five minutes. How exactly does that work? Felt like there's not enough explanation. Plus also sometimes a card will say that you score each fox, not including other foxes. Next one will include. So sometimes when you play two games in a row, it uh, can mess things up. Plus also tiles, there are two that are pretty similar, like these two. The first time somebody saw that, they, he thought that it's like the same thing, but actually it's like the water and mountains is two different things. So this tile is like made up I, from I, two I, different I, tiles. Uh, I know where that problem is, why? Do you know why? Uh, you should use five sentences when explaining this game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> 
when you say you're not gonna manage explain everything is when you're using four sentences to explain everything, right? You already did this joke, but it's so good. I've got. Let me just do it one more time throughout. This one video. more. All right, one more. Now? Uh, is that? No, no, no. Okay. You have more sentences to explain. Yeah. <laughs> it was now. There it was now. Now, now we're the, done. I thought Thank I'd you. do it later. And a lot of times you will want to play this game with new players because it's so quick. It's yeah. filler game for everybody, yeah. as we mentioned before. So that can be bothering you from time to time. Another thing is that's it. Just when you explain the rules, the first answer is, oh, that's it, which is a good thing as we talked yeah. before. But also just with the game in general, that's it. It's nothing like surprising, nothing new. Not to say that there's something bad about it, but that's it. It's just few tiles, few cards. It's nice, clean, uh, but there is no big surprises or anything original. How long is the honeymoon? Three, two, one. Okay. I see no expiration date. Wow, okay. We match here. I have, if you like the basic gameplay, forever. There's no date here. <laughs> For sure. And not just literally, also uh, figuratively. Figu figuratively? Figuratively. Figuratively. That's what I said. It's not something you're gonna make a board game night around. An easy game to pull out of your shelf and you can play it again and again and again. And I don't see that you will get tired of it. You usually don't from filler games. Just a variety of cards. Each animal has five different cards. Combinations are a lot. And the tile's gonna come up differently. And the animal tokens are gonna come up differently. And you're gonna play against maybe different people. Y you're not gonna need an expansion for it, like, ever. What's the best alternative? Three, two, one. Calico. Planet. That's a good, good choice. That is absolutely almost this the same This is like game. a flat planet. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, I got it, I, I got it, I got it one. Flat net, flat, never mind, not gonna be. It's basically the same game. No. Because Skadia and Planet is almost the same game. If you take away the magnets and the earth tiles are even the same. The animals are the same. Scoring is very, very similar. Well, maybe. Uh, for the planet, I don't like the magnets. You have to turn them all around all the time to see if this matches that. And it's not as relaxing as this. You can see everything here at a glance. But theme-wise, and like the basic component feel-wise also, theme-wise, feel-wise, I agree. Mine's an obvious one, it's Calico. Calico is a game by the same publisher where you're also placing tiles, but you do have a board there and the board limits where you can place. For here, there are no borders. There's no limit where you can place your tiles and how to place tiles and so on. Your habitat's gonna look differently every time. And for example here, where this is more relaxing than Calico and I enjoyed this more than Calico is because I don't feel like I'm gonna get screwed by placing this tile here. But in Calico, I'm like, oh, unless I get that specific tile, I won't be able to complete this goal. And that's very stressful. But it is, I guess, m a bit more challenging in that way. So if you're looking for something more challenging, Calico might be your thing. For me, this is the better of two. Final rating. Two, one. GG? GG. Fine, it's really good for what it is. It's a quick filler game that uh, I would enjoy play it basically any time. The best word to describe this game is solid. It's very, yes. very solid and good. It is, it is not liquid. As you can see from my experiment, not liquid at all. It's very good. I feel that it's a very good game, but why the very is very small? If I didn't see this on my shelf, I'd forget about it. Mm. I like, <sighs> filler game, what should we pick? And if I don't see it right away, I won't come. Yes, Cascadia. I remember it was, yes, let's go. So if I put it somewhere, ooh, all the way behind other games, mostly I guess because it, like you said, doesn't do anything. Yeah. So keep it in front of your shelf so you don't forget it and you will enjoy it every time. Yeah, it's very weird. It's good and solid, although. Yeah. But I definitely recommend it. Mm -hmm. That was our review for the game Cascadia. I hope you now know if you would like this game in your shelf as well. And of course, do all the great things that help us, you know, be better. Yeah, like, subscribe, share, and you can do it even in more than four sentences if you'd like. What's your punishment when using this joke again, which you promised you wouldn't? Did I promise? Yeah. I don't remember that. If it's not on video, is it on video? It's on video. Let us know in the comment section below what's Yannis' punishment for repeating this joke again. But just last question. Do they have to use four sentences to name the punishment? Double the punishment. <laughs> no!